been dealing with the pandemic for about eight months now, and we said before, numbers are back on the rise, but there's also a pandemic fatigue spreading around the world as well. Half of the population reportedly is feeling it. Uh, I, I don't know, how are you doing, Sarah? Do you feel it? Oh my gosh. This fatigue, fatigue. I've been feeling it for seven and a half months. I think only the first 15 days was about <laughs> like getting the plans ready. But I, I first want to say my heart goes out to Anna and Alan. I'm so happy to hear the news because um, I think uh, yeah. seeing this hit people, you, the numbers always have faces behind them. But when you know one of those faces, I think it's a reminder that during this pandemic f fatigue to stay diligent and prudent because I think there's also a comfort that comes when we're in our little bubbles that these numbers are, you know, we're hearing them, but if you don't see them, it's, you, you start to maybe get lax and forget. And I just think it's a good reminder to stay sharp because as it gets colder, we're all going to be inside more. And some of those normal moments we've had because we were able to be outside are going to go away and the days are getting darker and there's a mental health aspect. So um, I would just say that I keep reminding myself of that meme that came out when this all first started, that during the wars of past, people were called to the battlefield, and we've been called to our couches and to stay home and do our part and keep our masks on and wash our hands. And so um, I keep just coming back to that as my, this will pass if we do it right. And I do find it interesting, though, when uh, President Trump keeps saying, you know, the scientists, the scientists, and if they, if I had listened to them, we'd be in a depression. No, the point is, if you listen to the scientists and the efficacy of the masks and the hand hygiene and the social distancing, we can open up and keep an economy and not continue uh, into a depression. So, you, you know, you can't claim both. <laughs> right. What about you, Joy? Well, <clears throat> yes, Anna, I'm, I'm very happy to hear that Al is good. And, and now you know when they say for better or for worse, this is what they're talking about, Anna. This I've had is a it. tough quarantine, Joy. Even, even, listen, Anna, even Melania had to take that vow. <laughs> 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 but uh, as far as getting used to the pandemic, I'm just like, I'm fantasizing right now about being on a beach in Bermuda, and it's like a flat sand, and the water's beautiful, <laughs> and I'm there. I want to be there. Right yeah. now. You don't and even, I don't even like, like the, the beach. beach. That's the beauty. I don't even, but you know what? I like the beach in Bermuda. I like it in the Cayman Islands. I like it in, that uh, just feels wrong. I like it in Puerto Rico. I like the beach when it's flat right. and there's nobody around. Because, you know, if you anybody's like the around, beach when there's casinos. Right. And, and a bathing suit. So, I, so you, <laughs> have, Rico, you have back. the fatigue. I you have the Puerto fatigue Rico. as well. What, what about you, Sonny? <laughs> uh, have you, are you feeling the fatigue? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I think everybody's feeling the fatigue. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, I, I think we just keep, we have to keep our, our guard up. Um, I think we have to protect ourselves and our loved ones. Um, we know that now we're in the third wave. Hospitalizations are up. 70,000 new cases um, uh, logged in on Friday, which is the highest number we've had in the United States since July. So um, we, we know th what is coming. Um, and I think we have to do our part, quite frankly, to protect our loved ones, to protect ourselves, and hopefully try to get this country on the right track and, and save lives. So while I'm fatigued, and I know everyone else is fatigued um, doing your part by staying at home or wearing your mask or, or, or socially you know social distancing and washing your hands is not that much to ask to save lives right so I, I, it's just where we are it's just where we are can you I know, just put a, can put I ask a bump a on this Anna? sure can I ask Anna a question oh you I just want to ask her yeah, you know, DeSantis yeah. has opened up the state it, it, all everything's open in, in Florida according to that uh, uh, that DeSantis. What do you think about that? DeSantis. My Anna, you're, you're in Florida. Your husband was very sick. Now what? I'm very troubled by it. I, I'm very troubled by the images I saw from last week of the Trump rally here in Florida and the way Governor DeSantis uh, behaved there. Look, the, the bottom line is when you let your guard down, uh, you become that much more vulnerable. And yes, we're all tired, but I can tell you that the idea of wearing a mask and the burden of wearing a mask pales in comparison to the idea of burying somebody Good. you love. Right. Right. There you go.